What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over uh, the best units to re-roll for. Uh, as you know, second anniversary is here, uh, or if you're watching this like way later, then second anniversary is already gone. But I'm pretty much going to be going over the best units to re-roll for overall, over the whole game, not just for second anniversary. So uh, let's get into it. So starting out, I have a new account here. Uh, when you get a new account, you have 30 pearls on there already. Anniversary, I don't know about app after this but yeah you can easily uh go to story mode do what four stages and it'll get you 20 pearls um and then you can just go here you can summon not to mention if you're re-rolling on anniversary uh you have a free multi a day which we're gonna do right now only thing about this is it's gonna pop every time so but yeah so all right we got sasuke Okay, okay, is it gonna crack? Okay, we got one gold, we got one gold, okay. So, um, let's just see what we get. Well, all of these are gonna pop, so that's kind of... All right, so let's see what we get. Okay, we got Shikamaru, and that's a fake uh, six star. Well, fake gold. So anyways, um, we didn't get anything, and that's fine. Now, like I said, if you are summoning during anniversary, Another good thing you can do is, well, after we <coughs> after we get out of these, thank you. Uh, right now, Phantom Castle is going on. And during this Phantom Castle, you can get a Wisdom Healer. Now, if you guys don't know, there's only like two Wisdom Healers in the game. One's a Seasonal Healer, and then there's this Wisdom one in Phantom Castle. So, um, if you are playing within the first week, definitely grind that one out. And uh, now we're going to get into... Who, the best units to reroll for, right? All right, so let me switch over. Now, before we get into these units, obviously, if you want the first and second anniversary units, uh, reroll for them. These two are uh, the best two units in the game. So uh, that's like, if you want to, that's definitely who you should reroll for. Like I said, best two units in the game. Now, keep in mind, they have a 0.33% chance to be pulled. So that's like, to put it in perspective, if you know about Dokkan, you have a higher chance of pulling an LR on Dokkan than you do pulling these units. Uh, by the way, big shout to Kabuki. Uh, he's the one that put all the arts together and made this portrait, if that's what you want to call it. So a uh, big shout to him. But anyways, now let's get into the units. So starting off with Bravery, uh, the first unit would be Six Path Madara. Now, if you don't know about Six Path Madara, he does everything. He, ha he has healing, damage reduction, dodge, 4-8 chakra. You can get ultra, ultra combos on him. He has resets. Um, he's long range. He has like a 2,000 attack stat. His ult hits everyone on the map. He has a mobilization. He has everything. Right here, damage reduction, healing. He has resets, damage reduction right there, substitution. Against chakra back. He's just, he's he's crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's crazy. Like, before this Naruto and Sasuke came out for anniversary, he was the best unit in the game. Right? Like, this, this moderate is crazy. Now, a lot of his craziness comes from dupes. But, with Ninja Road and PvP and all these other ways of getting, um... All these other ways of getting, uh, dupe stones, it's not that hard. Not to mention, right now, there's the Aruka mission out on JP, and um, you can get three dupe stones. You have to grind it once a day for three weeks, you get three dupe stones, right? Now, this also applies to global players in a week if you're watching this now, and if you're watching it like later on in life, then it applies to you, period. So, there's that. Going on to uh, the next unit, obviously, Six Path Naruto. Uh, before Six Path Madara came out, this Naruto was the best unit in the game. Uh, he heals like 600 a turn. Yeah, he heals 600 a turn, 40% damage reduction to Wisdom, 510 Chakra, uh, mid-range. He gets a Ultra Combo with his Jutsu, that single target. His ult AoE, he has really high stats. This dude's crazy, all right? His field skill restores HP. He has a dodge mechanic, Wisdom, Bravery reduction. He's crazy, and he just got his Limit Break, so... Like, he's going to be, like, really, really dumb now. 
Um, so, oh, sorry. So, yeah, he's going to be really, really crazy. Uh, you guys should definitely check him out. Uh, he is a top-tier unit also. Now, the last Bravery unit is going to be one Tail Naruto. He's been out since the very beginning, pretty much. Uh, he heals. He can boost himself to 150. He does insane damage. That's all you need to know from him, right? Now, going on to Heart units. The best Heart unit in the game, outside of the brand new second anniversary Naruto, is Kaguya first. She heals for 700 a turn with abilities. She has 40% chance to reset. Uh, she goes from 510 chakra to 48 chakra. She has damage reduction, boost attack, nullifies type disadvantage. She's going to carry your body team. Like, you can one unit run with her. She's insane. Next, we have Madara, who just got his limit break, so now he's even more crazy. He also negates type disadvantage. He can tank from uh, skill, heart, and body. He has like a 18, 1900 attack uh, stat with max dupes. And he gets chakra resets on his ult. Uh, high multipliers, double AoE, really good unit. Uh, and he heals if he's in the buddy slot. He gives a, a tag boost on the field slot. So last up for uh, heart is Kakashi. Now, Kakashi is pure damage. That's all he is, right? Kage and Madara have a lot of utility built with damage, but Kakashi is pure damage, right? 510 chakra, um, high attack stat, 2000 attack, right? But the thing about him is his abilities. 40% to each type. He, he just gives 40% damage to each type. So this Kakashi is like really, really, really crazy. All right, he just does dumb damage. He even does 40% to body units. So that's going to be really good too. Now, uh, his ult is AoE, and his ult takes up almost all of the map, which is really, really good, right? And it gives you damage reduction, and his first ability gives you chance to dodge. So that's going to be the bravery and wisdom units. Now let's get to the skill and body units. So starting off, we have Kabuto Yakushi. Um, this guy doesn't do the most damage, I don't believe, but he does insane damage with a lot of utility, right? So he's vast range, uh, 1500 attack stat, which is really good. Field skill is reduced damage, which is insanely good. He, um, buddy skills are mobilization, which is pretty good for PvP if you take him there. Um, his abilities are really good. He gets chakra reset. He gets uh, chakra back, attack boost. He gets 350 healing, extend turns of status effect, and he goes from 510 to 48 chakra, right? Um, double AOE. Um, he does extra damage to body units. And then he just has like a lot of different status effects that are really, really good. Next is uh, Six Path Obito. And the reason why you're... Literally, this Obito, you don't need any dupes on him. Having dupes are nice, but you don't need any of these dupes, right? The main point of him is damage. 28 times attack and negates type disadvantage. So he's going to carry you in those um, skill-only objectives for heart rates, right? Those five pearl objectives... This guy is going to be your bread and butter. He's going to get you through a lot of different things. So that's what Obito is for. Utakata. He just got a limit break, making him extremely good. Uh, the thing, the reason why he's so good is he has a uh, damage reduction on his field and buddy skill. And then he has attack ups on his abilities. He can tank for body, which is pretty all right. Ignores barrier. But the thing that's crazy about him is he can pretty much double ult you. So pretty much um, he ults, right? And he adds slip damage. But then on his first jutsu, if they have slip damage, it's 10 times attack instead of 5. So he pretty much can double ult you. And it's crazy because uh, he gets 3 chakra back after ulting. So, like, this Utakata is crazy. So that's going to be the skill units. Now on to the body units. Uh, again, Sasuke, the new second anniversary Sasuke, is the best body unit. Now outside of that Sasuke... If you're not looking to pull a 0.33% unit, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jiraiya is the best body unit outside of Sasuke, right? He's vast range, 1600 attack stat, he can boost body units from 150 to 300, and his buddy skill, it reduces heart damage, which is kind of whatever, but still pretty good. Now, his abilities, he, he heals for 300 a turn, he can have up to 20% damage, I mean, uh, dodge. He gets an attack boost of 300, so his attack stat can go to 2,000 as a vast range unit. Then he gets a 30% chance to use no chakra on his ultimate jutsu also. 510 chakra, 
a double AOE, and he has a 24 times attack stat, 24 times multiplier to heart units, 16 times to all the other units. He has insanely high um, multipliers. He has high uh, attack stat for a vast range unit. His abilities are really, really good. This Jiraiya is insane. Now, outside of this Jiraiya, y'all already know Hashirama was like the OG best unit back in his day. He just got a limit break, making him very, very good. Also, so um, pretty much it's going to be, uh, he has a 2,000 attack stat long range. Which is really good. Field and Buddy both restore HP. All of his abilities reduce damage to their certain to those elements. 4-8 Chakra. His ult is vast range, which can immobilize and Jutsu Seal. His first Jutsu is AoE, but it's, sh it's short range. 6 time attack to all enemies. 60% chance of health recovery seal and attack reduction. So he's going to be a really good unit. Um, he just has a lot of different utility. Pretty good damage. He's going to be giving you damage, healing and status elements he has it all going on to Sasuke the last one this Sasuke needs no dupes you don't need any of this dupe of his dupes the reason why he's so good is because as a mid-range unit he has a 2300 attack stat with pills right which is really good for a chakra his first jutsu does a lot of damage but his second jutsu which is his ult hits everyone on the map and it does a lot of damage right so it's a 23 100 attack stat with a 12.5 times multiplier. So that's really, really good uh, for Sasuke. Now, Wisdom. Uh, for Wisdom, there's not three units. There's only two units um, where the other elements have like three and four units. But uh, the first up is this Bravery Minato. He is really, really good. He is a mid-range unit with a 22 times a 2200 attack stat uh, with pills. 60 to 80 percent chance of uh, counter attack which is really good 25 percent chance to dodge which is all right his abilities he increases bravery with damage to bravery by 20 percent um he can get chakra back when being hit and his chakra gauge goes from 4 8 to 3 6 so like that makes him really really good um and then uh he has abilities that allows him to not be chakra recovery sealed which is pretty good Going on to his Jutsus though, his first Jutsu is a single target, 6 times attack, 90% cha um, chance of attack reduction, which is really good, he got status element, and then his ult um, is also single target, but he's doing insane damage. The reason why this uh, Minato is so good is because he is doing crazy amount of damage, like he's a nuker, he does insane amount of damage to bravery units. Now, going on to the last unit, we have Renegon Sasuke, who just got his limit break also. Um, this he, Sasuke was debatably the best unit in the game when Six Path Naruto also came out. His utility is insane by far, right? And he just got a limit break. So, as a long-range unit, he has a 2,000 attack stat. He has a counter. Uh, going on to abilities, 100% slip damage once with this ability. You can extend his um, status effects by three turns. He gets an attack boost, right? So he's like a 2400 attack stat, which is crazy. He goes from 510 chakra to 48 chakra, right? And his last ability doesn't mean anything. So he's double AoE, 14.5 times attack um, multiplier, which is crazy. And the thing about it is, you can immobilize people, right? For five turns. You can give them slip damage for 10 turns. Like, and then his ult is vast range AOE with him in the center. So, like, this Sasuke has a lot of utility. And now that he's got his limit break, he has a lot of damage. So, um, these are the units to limit break. Uh, limit break? These are the units to reroll for. So, make sure if you guys are starting out or you're new, these are the units you go for. So, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time.